Now let's write a program that randomly generates an integers between 0 and uh, let's say 10 or 100 inclusive. Uh, the program prompts the user to enter a number continuously until the number matches the random gener generated number. So how do we going to do go, go about it? First we need to think how we are going to do it think how you would solve the problem without writing a program first uh, you need first to generate a number between 0 to 10 or 0 and 10 inclusive then we uh, then you prompt the user to enter a guess number and then to compare the guess with the random number that uh, generated by computer it's a uh, it's a good practice uh, we code incrementally one step at a time uh, for programs for programs that in, involving loops if you don't know how to write loops right away you may f like, um, first write the code for executing the loop one time and figure out how to, uh, to in our class test let's um, try to clear all this uh, other stuff and uh, let's start with uh, uh, we have our main method which is public uh, static void main string of arguments so in our method let's um, let's um, create a variable int uh, let's say let's say the computer or computer number because this is a number that is being going to be generated by computer so comp number right and uh, we may also write the variable int use number okay so I'm going to show you how to do this by if statement and then uh, later on I'll change the if statement to while loop so in here let's write a scanner then control shift or organize the inputs and this should be some column and uh, in here we need to generate a random number by uh, generated number that's going to be guessed by user so how do we going to do that first write a comment uh, generate write sorry generate generate a random number okay so use a com Control space, com number, and uh, 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 let's cast the number that we are going to generate by using the uh, a math class, and we by calling the random method, and also we can just type uh, multiply by. Uh, 106 or 7 whatever you want to type then semicolon so we have our number here this is the number that is generated by computer so now we need a number from uh, from uh, from the user so we're going to be sysout or system our dot print line and uh, say ask the user um, enter a number enter a enter or guess guess a number all right and uh, how do we get the number by using we need to create the use user number 
is equal to input input dot next because it's an int so we have to call next int here method this is gonna enable us to get a number from the user okay so we have two numbers now one is generated by computer and another one is the one we get from the the user so uh, uh, when we have done so as the number should be sorry should be um, number between 0 and 100 and uh, Now let's check the numbers. So we're gonna say if if um, uh, uh, let's say if um, first let's start with the user number. If user number is double equal to compute number. Uh, let's see salt see salt this is start yes you are right and uh, the number is concatenate the plus sign and put the user uh, a computer number Compute, computer number right and uh, else if user number is greater than computer number computer number let's see sound see sound too big or, or high and then else the final we say Sysout law, All right? And uh, that's it. Right click and uh, run as a Java program and uh, put eight. It's too high. Uh, so you put seven, but now the idea here is why am i showing you this that we are checking this number but we are not we are not looping we are not checking because now it says too high so we, we should be able to type like seven and then enter and check again and loop to get the number that is, is equivalent to the the uh, computer's number so so if i type a while loop so let's say while while this is true then we want so you add this on the while loop so uh, why this is true so let's see if we try though um, when this uh, this is we run this program it's never going to to end because it's never going to be false so if we try to run the program again and see eight to law 
so six too low so too high so it to continue because we don't on here is not gonna be false and uh, now let's change the this to so let's pass for example user user number to minus one right and then we pass here while uh, user number uh, is not equal to computer number computer number then we loop this so if you save again and uh, right click and run application so type 5 is too high uh, 44 is too big or high uh, 32 is too high 20 is too low so if it's slow then we go 25 you are right the number is 25 which means the computer number and the user number is the same that's why you got yes you are right and the number is 25 thank you guys and remember to subscribe and like and bye bye